What does it mean to work for the public to save the oppressed and every being in the world that needs salvation? Anything that advances them towards the end of correction. Because if you do something that will not advance towards correction, then you did nothing. You even possibly caused harm. Let's say if you now cure the whole world. Let's say you have a cure in your pocket and all the world will be cured. Are you doing them good by that or not? Meaning, as of today, what they feel themselves as being ill, that's a result, all in all, a combination of healthy... Sorry, it's a combination of the forces of the created beings and the forces of the Creator. That the desire of the Creator is for the world to be this way. Will seem this way to you. It's possible that he who flaws does it with his own flaws. How do you know if it's correct or not? So there are many things to measure here before you do something. So it turns out there's only one thing here. If you do it in order to bestow upon the created beings, meaning that it means that you advance them to the mutual qualities of bestowal, then by that they draw upon themselves the like that reforms, and then they feel their life in an ascent. Only that way you can benefit the created beings or in other words through dissemination you have nothing else to do with the created beings other than dissemination meaning to organize them to somehow start awakening upon themselves the upper light and this is only in order for them to advance to come closer to one another meaning other than Aravut there's nothing else to do is that clear? Yes, so I should organize the public in a way that they will know uh, they'll come closer to each other and then they'll extend the light upon themselves? Yes, even if you won't know to continue the light, you'll organize it in such a way that the light, to the extent you'll participate with one another, come closer to one another, the light will influence them more. And then what are these two virtues he writes about first that this uh, each person in the world will accept this work? Because you do good to them. What are you doing bad to them? No. Also according to the fact that you do all kinds of actions to bring them closer to one another you're actually doing good to them and also by awakening the light that reforms. Okay, and then what is the second condition that this mitzvah may better qualify him to observe Torah and mitzvot? Lishma, yes, that you advance them towards spirituality too, maybe in, in a long path for the time being, but still they're advancing. Meaning you have nothing more to do. Now you'll be told, let's now do something with the climate or let's hand out uh, bread to everyone or do something else. No, leave this for the other organizations. We need to do only one thing, to explain that connection between everyone is the only form that will bring us towards goodness. Because it is in that same tendency as all of nature is. It's drawn to connection, to unity. Nature is drawn to unity.